Well, the dust hasn't settled yet, <laughs> but you know, um, I, I put on uh, one of my better performances tonight. Unfortunately, I got caught at the end in an armbar, so my hat's off to Misha for the victory, but I would very much appreciate a rematch. Absolutely, you know, she's got very strong wrestling, obviously very strong submissions, but um, my counter wrestling is, is actually, a, it's not a bad game. Um, I know how to get off the cage now, you know, I've had some boring fights and I was trying to liven things up a little bit and just let myself flow, let my kicks and my punches go and, and have a good time. I got caught at the end, I'm very frustrated about that, I'm very angry, but at the same time, I got to fight and that's my favorite thing in the world. I know, I should have thrown more leg kicks, I, I you know, something, some, I, I don't know, like I was just, <laughs> should have thrown more of them, that's for sure. The head kick um, was one of my stronger things. You know, we, we trained for head kicks in this fight. She fades on one side and the other when she attacks um, and, uh, you know, to, to disperse her weight better for shots. And so her head is at an angle and it's, it's hittable. And um, that's what we trained to do. And we, we executed that pretty well, I think. Uh, yeah, you always want to finish your opponent. But I think I would have done better if I had to let her recoup dizzy and finish her with striking on my feet. I'll go back and talk to my coaches about that later. But I think that... From my perspective, it was a mistake because in the first round, I was winning that way by just making her get back up, making her get back up, tiring her out, and then delivering more shots. So that I, I made a big, uh, big error of judgment right there. I have to go back and reassess my game. You know, at the armbar at the end, um, I was having difficulty actually not with the armbar, not with the extended arm, but with getting a stack on my left shoulder. Something popped in my left shoulder in the second round, and I couldn't, I couldn't put my weight in the proper position and I was making stupid mistakes and at one point I even pulled my arm away from my other arm to get relieve the pressure from the stack and I thought okay if I just hit her from my elbow my coach was like what the hell are you doing don't do that but I was like I can't tell my coach that my arm hurts I don't but my, my shoulder is just bugging me right now so yeah I would love a rematch with Misha I, I know that this puts her in a position where she can kind of she's hunting Ronda Rousey right now so she's you know whatever they decide but yes I would love excuse me really appreciate a rematch with her absolutely um, I don't think I think uh, people have kind of you know they, they've kind of gone under this assumption that women can't fight and that we can't strike and that we don't have knockout power and I think that uh, I think that's a misnomer I think that we're out there and we're, we're ready to perform and there's some very high-level female fighters out there and I'm blessed to be a part of such a sisterhood oh thank you guys so much for your support of, of, of mixed martial arts and women in the sport love you Sweden even though I've never been there I want to go I really want to go Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com.